everybody welcome to the informative world and in today's video we are going to solve some very amazing questions related to finding out the values of the unknown variables so this is part 4 of solving equations using pan balance method the first three parts are already uploaded and we have solved a lot lot such questions okay so go through them so before i begin i would like to tell you the principles of this uh, method so the very first principle of this method is that whatever we do on one side of the equation the same procedure we have to repeat on another side also in order to keep the sides balanced okay the second is a very common thing that whenever we shift a number from one side of the equation to another then the sign of that number changes for example if it is positive it will become negative and if it is negative it will become positive if it is in multiplication it will become division and if it is in division it will become multiplication so this is how the signs get change okay i hope this much is understood to each one of you now i am beginning with this video so our first equation is z minus 3 is equals to 2z minus 5 z minus 3 is equals to 2z minus 5 okay so here what we are going to do in order to get rid from this minus 3 i am going to shift it here it will become positive 3 z minus 3 plus 3 is equals to 2z minus 5 Plus three. Now these threes get cancelled. Remains only one z. Here remains only two z and minus two. Now I am gonna cancel this two z. Okay. I am gonna shift this two z here. It will become z minus two z because it was here. It was positive here. So this side it became negative. So we know if I am subtracting two z here, the same I have to do on this side also. I will subtract two z here also. So these two z get cancelled, and z minus two uh, z, one z minus two uh, z is minus one, right? Right? Z minus two z is minus one. So what remains? Yes. Here remains minus z is equals to minus two. Now what am I gonna do? I'm gonna shift this minus one here because it was in multiplication with z. This side will be in di division with two. Okay. So on dividing, I obtain the answer as plus plus minus minus plus. So positive two. So what is the root of this equation? Is plus two. Value of z is Plus two. Next question: six x plus five is equals to two x plus seventeen. Six x plus five is equals to two x plus seventeen. Now, what am I gonna do here? Is that I'm gonna shift this uh, plus five this side. It will become minus five. Six x plus five minus five is equals to two x. Plus seventeen minus five. Now what am I gonna do here? The fives get cancelled and remains only six x. Here remains plus twelve. Okay, two x plus twelve. Okay. Now what am I gonna do in order to get rid from this two x? I'm gonna shift it here. It will become six x minus two x is equal to two x plus twelve minus two x. These two x get cancelled. And here on subtracting, I get the answer as four x is equals to plus twelve. Okay. Next step. Let me tell you the next step now. Next step four x. You can see four x here. It is in multiplication with x. So this side whenever I shift this four, this side it will become in division with twelve. So the root of the equation or the value of the x comes as three. Wasn't it very easy? Okay, let me clear the board. Then we will switch on to the next question. Okay. Oh, okay. Next equation is three x plus six. Three x plus six is equals to twenty four. 
Now what am I gonna do when I, I know that whenever any number is inside the bracket, so the number which is outside the brackets get multiplied with that number. So here yeah, three into one x. Okay. So three x. We are gonna open the brackets. So in order to open the these brackets, I need to multiply the numbers in order to open these brackets. So three six are eighteen. Is equal to twenty four. Now I'm gonna shift this eighteen here. It will become minus eighteen. It will become minus eighteen. Okay. So three x plus eighteen minus eighteen is equal to twenty four minus eighteen. Now what am I gonna do? I'm gonna cancel these eighteens. Okay. And here twenty four minus eighteen is uh, positive six. Now I'm gonna transfer this three here. The answer or the root of the equation comes as two. Very simple. Okay. Next question. Next question is sixteen three x minus five minus ten four x minus eight is equals to forty. I'm going to open the brackets. Sixteen three zero is forty eight minus sixteen five zero. Forty-eight x, okay. Sixteen five is eighty. Minus ten four is forty. My forty x. Ten eight is eighty. Is equals to forty. These eighties get cancelled. Okay. Now I am gonna subtract minus uh, minus forty with plus forty-eight. Okay. Okay. Now what will happen? On subtracting, I will obtain the answer as positive eight. Okay, so what I will I get? I will get eight x, right? Now I'm gonna here it is mul multiplied by x, so that side it will be divided by forty. Root of the equation or value of x comes as five. Very easy. Okay, next question. Okay, five minus two y is equals to seven. So first, I have to rearrange the terms. Two y minus five is equals to seven plus five. Two y minus five plus five is equals to seven. Five twelve. These fives get cancelled. Two y is equals to twelve. This two will be shifted this side. I will obtain the answer as six. or the value of the y is 6 thank you for watching this video